Why hello there and welcome to a building video. We're going to be building the spawn area for Sinister Kingdom SMP, which is going to be a fantasy SMP with lots of storylines and things to do in this beautiful, beautiful world, which is using the medieval... Minecraft Medieval, I don't even know the mod pack. It's in the description. But anyway, we're going to be building the uh, main area here, which is going to be kind of build it up the side of this mountain, finishing with a castle on top. So I got a bunch of schematics ready to go, and um, we'll start pasting them in and then build like walkways and things and basically filling up this entire world with lore and secrets. So uh, let's get right into it list right ah there we go okay so these are all the schematics that i've loaded in here say so we got a blacksmith we got a distillery a farm a house another house another house another house and a library and a navigator don't know what that's going to be street light well was oh i guess navigator like sign i don't know and then the castle yes <laughs> all right i'm so it's been so long since i've used world edit i, I it's it's, it's literally been years since I've used World Edit, so I don't... This is the only terraforming plugin I have is World Edit. There's no other mods in here that help with terraforming. So it's probably going to be a bit challenging actually doing this. It's going to be a bit slow, but... Oh, well. Hey, that... Um, actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. This is... <laughs> Where's the door on this house? Where's the door? Is there a door? How do you get into this place? There's literally no door. Or am I just blind? Uh, oh, is this the door? No. How, how, how do I enter this establishment? This looks like the front here. This looks like the front. But this is a window? I don't know. Anyway. Uh... Oh, there's the door. It's on this side. <laughs> okay. Why is your name like 500 blocks above your head? Your name is so high up. <laughs> Why is it? Is my name like that? Your name is like an entire character above your head. Like a, it's like two meters above your head. There we go. See, you know what? That looks pretty. That looks good. That looks, that looks pretty good. That works. All right. Nice. One house done. Two. I struggle to spell medieval. I don't know why. Because I always think it's like med evil, right? Like evil, as in evil. But it's like I E V A L, not E I. Anyway, it, 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 it confuses me. Well, we got two houses, two houses down, and they both fit perfectly. This is actually coming together really well. All right. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time for house number three. Oh, wait, no, there's one more house. There's actually a fourth house after this, but still, house number three. Oh dear. Well, that's not going well, has it? <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Nice. It, it fits. Everything fits really well. I have to admit, like, I'm really happy with the way everything looks. Okay. It's the time you've all been waiting for. Schematic list. All right, here we go. House number four. Just do it like this. See? Perfect. That's actually like... Ah! Creeper! Creeper. Creeper. Oh, the creeper survived! Just leave it down there. It'll suffocate. This is actually like... This house has like a pretty nice view too. Alright, our little village is coming together. We got three houses. Oh no, we got four houses. Was that all the houses? That's all the houses. Now we can start building like the blacksmith and things like that. Anybody who picks a bigger or smaller class is going to ha have such a hard time getting in any of these houses. I know. I picked an elf and I don't, like, I couldn't get in. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get into the place and I realized I was, like, taller than normal. Bro, I didn't realize <laughs> that mine actually, like, destroys stuff. So oh I need to gosh, back yeah. off. Yeah, I need to back off from, like, any settlements. <laughs> Oh, it spawned way over here. Oh my gosh, why is there so much dirt under it? There's like, it was, it was a hundred and two, it's a hundred and two thousand blocks. No. Wait, 
102. No, that's a million. It's a million twenty five thousand four hundred ninety two blocks. Oh, I'm surprised that <laughs> yo, we got clouds in it. Let's go. It does look real. Oh, it's that's why cobwebby. it's got an entire dungeon under it. Oh. That's why it's so big. There's like a whole underground part too. Mobs okay, are that's already very spawning cool. inside. Yeah. That's very cool though. This is not gonna fit in that mountain. I didn't realize it had a whole dungeon to if it. We like delete the mountain, maybe. Yeah, but, but then like the pro yeah, we have to put it like in the mountain though. Oh, you know what? That that's not too bad. I'm gonna have to go a bit lower still, but how is that? That's not bad. Nah, it looks, it looks pretty decent. That actually looks decent. We can we can work with that. There's not too much like sticking out. I mean, we just leave it dirt and we just bring this whole thing up. Wait. We just bring this up a bit. Just yeah, just glue, bring right? the whole mountain like up more. So it's a bit sharper from the bottom, but then at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. This will work. It looks pretty cool, actually. You know what? Yeah, if we replace the top part with stone, I think it'll look. It'll look pretty solid. We got the dragon. Oh, jeez. That is so cool with the dragon down here. And this is non-hostile. If we go in survival, it won't attack us. I don't think so, but hold on. Let me try. I just wanted to destroy the castle. Oh, oh, he's, he's hostile. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is actually really cool down here. People will come down here and just get wrecked by these dragons. <laughs> But it's looking okay. It's looking kind of natural now, so it's not looking too bad. Um, hey, Walnut. Welcome. But it's looking pretty good. It's looking a bit boxy, but it's not really too bad. I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. We can work on it later, but it's decent. It doesn't look terrible. And I guess it would be kind of boxy because if you think about it, if you architecturally, if you were to build a castle on a mountain you're gonna end up leveling out a lot of the mountain anyway so it works anyway it's time to paste in some more buildings here uh we got lost i want to put something over here um actually you know what? i'm gonna put the farm in first because i want to put the farm like down here so we'll put that in that looks good awesome all right another building done that one actually was easy sick okay so we got that in down here that looks pretty good in that spot if you want you can start working on the farm i'm thinking put in the farm now that the distillery is there where's the okay if you want put the farm back here like get rid of this tree and then put the farm on this side i think that'd be good like right along here wait where are you come over here put the farm maybe like all in this area that i'm looking at this, this is a pretty good spot for a farm. New paste, let's paste A. What is that? What did that do? Wait, is that... Does that not like does that not affect the blocks in the area or something? Oh, it does. Oh, that's actually so cool. Oh, I did it. Wait, that was not... Thank you for telling me this because this has saved a lot of time. I didn't know you could do that. So wait, what is this navigator? Oh, I see. It actually is literally like a, a thingy. Okay. You know what? That actually works pretty well. And, and you know what? That, that actually, that fits with the castle so well. Like, it matches the cat. Like, if, literally, if you look at this, this section here, and then you look at this tower, it... It really matches very well. Even the, the peak or the pointy bit. What was what that called on a, on a castle? The, the spire? The pointy? I don't know. Let's just call it the, the pointy bit. It matches the pointy bit pretty well. And it has that kind of wizardy look. That's actually a good spot. I think I'm going to leave that there. Library. I guess. I mean, I'm thinking either here for the library. Behind this house. Or maybe over here. Behind the whatever that is you know what i think this is a nicer view what is the view like on this side actually they're both decent views and you know what that pasted 
pretty well. There's a grave here. All I have to do is fill in that area and we're pretty pretty much set. Oh, by the way, you can just click the L that's on the list to load it. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you actually can. <laughs> I'm, I'm angered now. I've been waste. I've probably wasted in total like 10 minutes typing in <laughs> schematic names. You just click this button. Wow. Well, thank you. Learn something <laughs> new every day. <laughs> oh, it's actually annoying. Oh, well. Another house done. Easy. Okay. You know what? I'm putting another house maybe back here. This is nice over the water. Wait, what did I do? I did one. I did two. This one actually works there. I think I'm just going to leave that one. I'm actually happy with this one. The door on this side too. That works. This actually pasted literally perfectly too. Like it couldn't get any more perfect than that. So we'll just leave that there. That's pasted pretty well too. Nice. This pasting is getting real easy. I like, you know what? These houses are really good too because the foundations are so deep that it makes it really easy to paste things in. This town is, this is making, we're making fast progress now. We actually have like a, a big town now. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff here now. Great. I don't think I want to do too much because there's still a lot to do in this town. Like I still got to do all the, the roads and everything. So I think we're going to leave it like this for now. And we'll start doing the paths and stuff. This is looking good. I'm actually happy with this. With the spear, you could set the materials to like cobblestone inside, just putting a common between. Yeah, I know that. We could do like the percentages thing too. I think I'll just do that by hand after. I don't really want too much like mossy anyway. Oh, you know what? We should probably. I'm going to change the. Around the castle. I'll make it all stone cobble around here now too. Oh, this looks nice down here. This is really nice. Yeah, this looks good. It's like a little garden, zen garden thing. Whoa. Wait, did you do... In, this looks so nice in here. Did you do all this? This looks really nice. This is actually... This is so cool. With all the lanterns and everything. Got this little, like... Little river boat here. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Like, right here. You get a nice screenshot. Right in here. Or maybe from the other side. Yeah. Get some of the vine in the corner. That's so... That's so nice looking. This will definitely be a thumbnail at some point. <laughs> this is the farm. Obviously, um, we got wheat on this side. I don't even know what this is. Potatoes, I think. <gasps> Oops. Uh. <laughs> let me uh. Let me just. This didn't happen. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Don't worry about that achievement. I just placed a seed. Don't worry. Um, this is the farm area here. And then Dwayne built this whole area and it looks really, really awesome. Why are you so small? You're like, what? Not even, what? What class is that? You're literally like the size of an ant. Goblin trader. What the heck? How are you so small? Is that the goblin class? I'll join later just having some technical issues. Oh, all good, all good. You are so tiny. I can't even imagine what your camera perspective looks like. Like, you're literally, like, half the size of this grass, like, elevation here. What the heck? Yeah, so, um, I don't know. What do you guys think about the wall? I'm trying to think. Like, I want to build a wall all around the town, but I don't know what to include. I think, I think I'm going to put everything in the wall except the farm and, like, these two buildings. So, we'll have the wall kind of go all around through here this is a good area for a wall too because it's like a big hill so we can have the wall going all around here behind this house and then straight down here and then we'll include the distillery in the wall i think as well yeah all right 
Let's start working on this wall. I'm going to make the wall out of cobble because that's what the wall is up top. And there we go. Perfect. We have a wall. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we have a little bit of space on that, the left side here to actually add more. I mean, there's space even over here. There's a little bit of space too. Nice. All right. Now we just got to build this up. How many, how thick should I make the wall? Should I make it like two or three? Because if I make it three, I feel like three is good because it is like the outer wall of the whole place. So it probably should be kind of beefy looking. There we go. Nice. All right. Now we got the walking path thingy done. Now it's just building up these walls a bit. I think like, I guess just three blocks. Because if we do three blocks height, then we just put one block like that. And then you have like this kind of dark tunnel thing that goes through the wall. Yes, this looks nice. You'll make it look better later. All right, awesome. Honestly, it looks pretty good the way it is now. I guess we can swap out certain blocks, but... Oh, you know what I'm going to work on? Will you guys work on that? I'm going to work on an entrance. Where should... Let me look at the map. Where should we put the entrance to the town? Actually, I already know. We'll put it on the side where the farm is. It makes the most sense. We'll put an entrance here. Mm. Yeah, we'll do the entrance right here. Maybe do it right on the corner. There should be two. Yeah, there's going to be a couple, but I'm thinking like the main entrance. You know what I mean? But it, but the problem is, is like, okay, here's the main entrance to the town. And then here's this massive of, of ravine that just goes down into the abyss. <laughs> like, Not exactly the best entrance way. But there's really nowhere else to put it because everywhere else is just cliff. Do it like that. There we go. What the heck? Who's that? Oh, it's you. I thought... The, wait, what? Um, What the heck? <laughs> what just happened? I just watched you destroy a tree. Stare at me and then just disappear into the ground. Like... <laughs> What the heck? What class is that? Are you a phantom? I can hear you walking too, I think. Or is that the villager? Well then. <laughs> villager guard. Villager guard. Oh, yes, you're a phantom. That is such a cool class. Like, because of that ability, it makes me want to play that class so much. But I know it's like... What lore is there really? Like, what am I going to do? Build, like, a phantom city? Like, I don't know. This is looking really good, though. I guess we should probably change the castle wall to match this wall. I'm going to do that now. So, what is it? Just... I just need to add walls in between everything. Good to go. Is this almost done? Is this the end of the wall? Did you already do the whole other side of these slabs? Oh, my gosh. You did. We're almost done. The wall is almost done. That's it. That was the last piece. <laughs> it's done. For now, at least. We can add more details later, but it's done. Nice. Oh, my gosh. There's like an hour and a half building this this wall. Jeez. But this is official. This is a kingdom now. It has a wall. It has a castle. And it has a village and a farm. It has all the elements to be a kingdom. So we can finally say that the Sinister Kingdom main place is done. Yeah, it's pretty janky. It is pretty janky, but it doesn't look that bad. You know what? You know what is the texture pack helps make it look better. Like if this was just imagine vanilla, if this was vanilla with that cobble wall, it wouldn't look very good. But because of this texture pack, the cobble kind of looks like stone bricks. And then the stone bricks look even like more like the stone slab thing, smooth stone or whatever. So it looks good with the texture pack. It does look pretty cool. But yeah, I don't I don't think without the texture pack, I don't think it would look that great. Maybe. But like parts like this look sick where it like comes right down. Like that looks really nice. It gives it nice depth. I think it looks good from certain angles. Like the boxy sides don't look good, but where, where it follows the landscape like here. It looks, I think it looks really good. I'm happy. 
I think we're pretty much ready for launch now. We just need to do the dungeons, which I don't want to record because I don't want people to see where they are. But other than that, we're pretty much done. Like, I can't really think. Maybe just up here. This is pretty empty up here. I want to put stuff up here. Oh, you know what? We should put some villager trading things. You know when, like, you know when, like, all the peasants... <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term, but, like, all the peasants go up to sell things to the king. You know what I'm talking about? They all go up and, like, try and sell stuff to the king. And there's, like, a market outside of, like, the castle. We need to have, like, a Lord Fug market up here. I think, like, right here is perfect because it's, like, a big open area. I just need to replace this. Let me get a wand. Replace all this with cobble. All right. Welcome, everybody. And we are finally done the kingdom. It has taken so much time over the course of about a week to build this. So I'm going to go through the whole place and show you everything. I got shaders loaded on, so everything's looking nice and crisp. Now, first things first, there are these ruins kind of built around the map. Um, and they have a secret in them. A lot of them, I don't want to show it off of how to get there because it'll be for you guys to actually play. Um, but yeah, there's a ruin. This one's very close to the spawn and this is the kingdom. I will go through the entire place because there's a lot of stuff that was done off camera. So I'll just go through the whole the whole area. And I want to say as I'm going through here, if you guys want to join this SMP, link down below to join my Discord server. And there is a uh, Google Forms to fill out and you can apply to join the SMP. Everybody is welcome. Everybody, there's no requirements. You don't have to be a YouTuber or anything. Everybody can join. So... Please replant. Oh, yeah. So this is the farm, which actually this whole area is world guarded and protected now. So um, new players won't actually be able to break these crops, but we will have a place where you guys can collect food and whatnot and a community chest where you can add food. So anyways, this is the farm area that you guys have already seen before. We have the beautiful mine shaft area down here where this will be a nice sort of chill, relaxing spot. Um, we come up here. We got two houses over here. We got nice walkways that go to all these houses now. So we got this house here. And I haven't really showed much of the interiors, but there really isn't a whole lot inside these places. But anyway, there's one of the houses. And then there's another house back here, which is pretty much the same deal. And anyway, let us enter the main attraction, the actual kingdom. So if we walk in here through the main gate, as you can see, we have our distillery on the left here. Where you guys can come in. How, why is everybody having a party in here? All these, all the villagers are uh, in the distillery drinking up in here. <laughs> As you can see, the the, distil the, 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 the distillery is uh, is a busy place. Um, I actually I didn't place those guys in there. I don't know why they're all in there. They're supposed to be walking around the town, but anyway, everybody's in there. We got a nice little well here. Get some fresh drinking water. We've got another house here. I'm not going to really show the interior of these houses. There's really not much in them. These houses will be for, like I said, when you when you join the server, you can start your own kingdom because we have so many races that the leaders of each um, sort of faction will be able to have kind of like an embassy here where they can set up their own shop. And as you can see, we set up like these villager kind of trading areas to fill up these areas. So we got kind of villager places here. And these will be player shops eventually too. So you can get your own player shop and you can walk around the entire wall area and go around all here. Back here we have the library, which I don't believe I've showed off either. It's pretty nice. We got a librarian in here doing his thing. Uh, you come up here and they got a nice little, there's cobwebs in here. We got to clean this place up. My goodness, cobwebs everywhere. All right, I'll come back here with a, with a with swifter and <laughs> clean up. But anyway, um, another trading area over there. We come back over here. We got this nice, I think I showed this. I don't know. Anyway, but this is another building over here. There's a jukebox here. That was, we were just playing some music, playing some, uh, what was this, pig step, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we come back over here. We got this nice walkway that comes up to an, oh, there's no walkway that goes up to this house. We should probably, I'll have to add that in. But anyway, there's another house here. And then we come over here, another house on the right, which like I said, all these places will be claimed by factions to kind of have like an embassy in their own shop, shop faction shop type thing. Um, and this is a no PVP area to the kingdom. This is a peaceful place. Up here we have the blacksmith, nice little, little humble abode. And up this nice walkway, 
that I don't think I actually recorded building the staircase, but anyway, this is Castle Valkyhar, the place, the the residency of Lord Fug, the Sessens, the sec, the Seconds, sec, Sessen. It's it's two S T, like you spell it two S T. So I don't know if that's the Sessent. Anyway, that's their name. Um, weird, but anyway, <laughs> we got this nice walkway here that goes up to the castle. We have the Wizarding Tower, which is pretty cool. I don't think I showed inside here either, but it is also a nice area filled up with uh, Wizarding stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to show too much, though. You guys can, when you guys come on the server for yourselves, you'll be able to see everything. And we got this nice courtyard here. We built a little housing thing out here. And this area, too, will let players set up shops up here as well. Um, and this castle is for the faction leaders to come and have meetings about their kingdoms and whatnot and meet with with uh, all the leaders but anyway this is the actual castle area i'll just fly around in here so we've got all these rooms uh we got a grand piano in here and this was all pre-done so this was all already here in the castle like i said this was a schematic and if you guys want to get these schematics link down below to all the creators of these schematics um definitely check them out they, they have some other amazing packs you guys can get and huge shout out to winter node also, because obviously without them, none of this would be possible. So thank you, Winternode, for sponsoring this entire SMP, this series. Um, if you guys want to get yourself a Winternode server, link down below for that. They are amazing. They provide really, really, really high quality servers at a very affordable price compared to the competition. You'll get the same specs with them as you would with other server hosting companies, but for uh a pretty good you get good savings off of them so they are really good and we've we haven't had any issues this server's this is 200 plus mods on this server and we're having no problems whatsoever we haven't had any issues with it so anyways this is the main castle area um i'm not really sure people oh wow this has like light shafts and stuff that's actually really cool some volumetric lighting coming through the, the windows but anyway this is the main castle area and um this is really just for rp this whole this whole castle i don't know there's a big like kind of like church area in the castle i don't really know how to get to it let me just go up the staircase because there's actually like a whole kind of like outdoor courtyard up here which is pretty cool so you have this whole oh this is a tower i went the wrong area anyway let me come down here but anyways out here you have this whole sort of walkway um we were really trying to go for like an elden ring aesthetic with this whole place with the builds and everything that we selected and obviously what we had built in ourselves but anyway in here we have kind of like this big church area we're going to light this place up eventually but we got this nice sort of church gothic looking place that we'll have events in and things like that so we got this and this actually goes up to the main tower i believe so we'll go up up this it's probably going to take a little while i probably should have just done it outside would have been faster just fly up that way but anyway you can run up this nice tower and get a beautiful view of the entire kingdom i just heard the discord sound thing i don't know i'm not in a call i'm just like talking in a call anyway this is the the main tower area so you can see the entire kingdom from up here obviously the server render this and says set to 10 to for intensive intensity so we can't see too much but we can see most of the kingdom and i'll give you guys a nice overview of everything there's also a dungeon, a procedurally uh, generated dungeon that Sky built, and that is somewhere hidden on the world. So when you guys come on here, you can play the dungeon. And the dungeon, like I said, it's procedurally generated, so you have a percentage of getting very, very rare items, like creative-only items from that dungeon. Obviously, the percentage is quite low, but you can get that, and the dungeon is can be played with up to four players or something. I don't know. You can get a bunch of people in there, and once the dungeon starts... You, you play through it, you beat it, and then, like I said, every time you play it, it's completely different, completely new, and that's pretty cool. So, you definitely have to come on the server and try and find it. I don't even remember where it is. I set the protection for it, but I, I'm trying not to... I haven't done any exploring because I want everything to be kind of fresh when we actually start playing. But, anyways, if we come back here and you walk down this area, you have a grave over here, which is actually the grave of... Let's see, Lord Fug the Ferned, the Ferned, yeah, Lord Lord Fug the Ferned, and so rest in peace, Lord Fug the Ferned, but Lord F 
there's a new Lord Food in town. Lord Food, the Sessence, the Sessist, <laughs> the the new Lord of the Kingdom. Um, but yeah, that's the whole area. And like I said, there's a lot of secrets and things to find around the world that have been placed. So there's a lot of lore and there's a lot of things that we're going to be adding. This is kind of like a a, a work a, a general. I don't know what to say, it, but this, the story is going to be continuous. So there's always going to be more and more things added. Um, I'm really excited to start playing. I hope you guys come on the server or, or if you, you don't have Java, that's okay because I'll be recording everything and uploading everything to my second channel. So if you want to see the whole raw unedited of building this town, link down below to join my second, to not join, to, to, to see my second channel uh, where I will upload all the raw footage and then on my main channel will only be edited content so that way we can kind of keep it more condensed and high quality um, edited videos but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the build of this kingdom if you did enjoy and if you like the kingdom please consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like and comment and like i said link down below to join the discord server so you guys can participate in the kingdom and if you can't join there's still other ways you can participate like writing lore and just working on the creative side of the server because we have a, a, a team of people that we're going to be working on the lore of the server and i'm trying to take a back step on the lore so that way i'm more of a player but so if you guys want to want to help out with the lore and and become bosses in the game or like some type of npc basically npcs we're going to have player npcs i guess you could say where they're player boss fights and things like that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait for you guys to see this server actually being played so it launches actually today when this video is uploaded. So anyways, thank you guys and uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.